This week, I tried a very simple challenge of try to be bare feet for a whole week and see what happens. What's supposed to be a very simple and interesting challenge led to an existential crisis, realizing that I was walking completely wrong, reconnecting with nature at a spiritual level, and a conspiracy theory. Let's, uh, let's talk about that. Let's start all the way back from the beginning at day one. I thought this would be easy because I'm bare feet inside the house anyways and the sports that I grew up as a kid I loved being bare feet such as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and gymnastics. As well as a child I loved being bare feet out on the outside. Any chance we could play bare feet we would take that opportunity. Working at a gym was pretty easy for me to be bare feet just got a lot more questions asked. And finally going around in day one it actually felt very very liberating. It reconnected me to my childhood in a way I didn't Think that it would. It felt very fun. I felt like I was reconnecting with a past version of myself and it felt a lot more free to just feel like I'm experiencing the world a different way that most people don't. That I was doing something that other people were not doing. I was walking very awkwardly because the cement was very, very hot and I was always looking down to make sure I didn't step into something hard or, you know, disgusting. Physically, it felt kind of weird. The bottom of my foot felt a little bit sore, but emotionally, it was pretty good. And I was very excited to just continue on that experience. For day two, after walking outside and enjoying that experience, I still felt pain, but the pain that I didn't think that I was going to experience. My ankles started to feel sore, my knees started to feel sore, and my hips started to feel sore. It made me feel way older than I hope that I look. And if I look that old, then I need to change my skincare routine. Was it me doing something wrong or was it actually the shoes helped with that impact? And I got my brain thinking when I put on my wireless headphones. When there's no music playing and you're walking, I can almost feel the impact go through my body. The impact was loud. Something was off. Was it the shoes? Or was it me? And that led me down a path of realizing just so many things I was doing wrong. More than I will admit here, but starting with this, which led into day three. As a joke, I kind of wanted to just see tutorials on walking. And what I found out was I was walking wrong. Like something that I've been doing my entire life, I've been doing wrong. What they mention is most of us, the way we walk, we look more like marching than we are actually walking. By keeping our legs straight and our heels hitting first, the impact hits our legs completely straight from our ankles, knees, and hips. I actually broke my leg when I was six, jumping off a picnic table, keeping my legs straight. That sucked. I do ninja and parkour. A part of the landing process is you want to land on the balls of your feet in order for the impact to be absorbed through your ankles, then your knees, then your hips. Just to make sure when I went outside and decided to walk, I decided to take these strategies. I would land on the balls of my feet instead of the heels on my feet. The second change was to make sure that a lot of the weight were still in my back foot before taking that step. By the end of the day, it worked. I didn't feel the pain that I felt on day one and day two, which made me realize I was walking wrong. I, d d damn, I was doing it wrong. So I have been doing my whole life of just walking, did it, wrong. I was, how did I mess that up? How did I mess that up? Come on schools, you failed me again. Which led into day four. If I was messing up walking, what else were these shoe prisons, these foot contraptions were taking me away from? So I decided to look up health benefits before I went out on this day. Some of the health benefits made sense in which you develop more strength, coordination, and balance throughout your ankles, hips, and knees because now you're not relying on the shoe. And that's why a lot of people do barefoot running in order to become better runners. And then they have something called grounding in which that you are bare feet you can have a better connection with nature and mother earth there was a youtube video I was watching and he talked about you can enhance that experience by being blindfolded your sensory experience and your grounding experience is much more enhanced because now you're using all your other senses i decided to try that myself grab my blindfold went out into nature into a field and I decided to experience it and you know what it went exactly the way that it looked i looked like some crazy person walking around in an open field blindfolded. I didn't feel this grounding experience. I felt more, what the, what am I doing? So I decided to take a nap and just relax. And that experience was just way better than this grounding walking experience. So I made going outside and relaxing a part of this experience. Going to day five and day six, I just decided to enjoy the last few days that I was planning on being bare feet. I felt way more comfortable. My walking felt a lot better. And so why would I wear shoes? Why do we wear shoes in the first place? So I went back to the internet to destroy my hopes and dreams again and try to think about where shoes come from and why do we wear them. 
There's evidence about 9,000 years ago, and even further than that, that we wore shoes in order to stop us from the elements, as well as protect us from dangerous things on the ground. But the more you look into history, the more modern we get, the more that becomes a fashion symbol and a status symbol, such as royalty wearing high heels in order to separate them from the peasants. There's a lot of research that finds that these modern shoes that give you arc support actually just make your foot lazy, which actually gives you bad posture and gives you that pain. And when it comes to sports, there's not a connection between high tier shoes, such as from Nike, Puma, and Adidas, versus what you consider just a low tier, very normal sports shoe. A lot of it has to do with preference. So there is something with protection, but what about this capitalism, this fashion, this status symbol? Is all that actually outweighs the health benefits that we would actually get if we weren't wearing shoes? Hell no. Look at me being bare feet, fighting capitalism. I am a hero. Which led to day seven, the final day. I got to really enjoy the last day that I would be bare feet. And I had a great experience throughout these seven days. And when it finally came time, to wear the shoes back on my feet, it felt weird. It was like I was reconnecting with an old friend, but a friend from high school, someone that you knew, but not someone you got along with very well, versus the feeling of when the shoes are off, it feels like I'm reconnecting with a childhood friend or someone that I feel very excited or happy when I get to meet them, even if I haven't seen them in two, three, four years. It felt good to feel like I was doing something different. I was feeling something out of the norm that when I was doing this, people would look and wonder why I was doing this. And it was something that I enjoy in the first place. And throughout this week, I found out that I was walking completely wrong, that there are a lot of health benefits that I was connected to just being outside, even if it's bare feet. And here's just a side note for a health crazes. Just if humans made something, avoid all of that for like 10 minutes to an hour. The fact that my daily routine was disrupted by something like this, it felt really nice. And it felt really cool to say that I was doing something that most people don't or thought it was weird. When someone asked, where are your shoes? I actually liked being asked that question. After realizing everything that I learned this week, I'm definitely not gonna be wearing shoes as often as I'm going to. I'm gonna wear it for work as well as for training because the impact I'm taking makes sense, but I want to reconnect with that childhood friend again. And this whole rabbit hole that I went down all started because I just decided to take those off. So what do you think? Are you gonna try to be bare feet? Do you have any experiences of being barefoot? And does any of my experiences just me rambling on and being crazy? I would love to hear them down in the comments below. And you can always hit me up on social media and share your stories, your experiences, or any other adventures that you have. And while I'm enjoying this last few couple of moments while I'm walking bare feet, I will see you at the next adventure.